Now to Muskegon County in a deadly home explosion near Ravenna. Investigators now telling us that this blast was caused by the homeowner who is trying to switch a stove from natural gas to liquid propane. 71 year old Marvin Lanning did not survive the explosion. 24 hour news aides Joel Fergie talked to the victim's family. One thing that surprised neighbors and even firefighters when they arrived was what they found. Despite a large explosion, you didn't find debris in the yard or in the trees. Firefighters say one reason could be this is an old mobile home. Obviously, there's nothing underneath the floor, and those walls are very thin. So when the energy built up from that explosion, it dissipated much more quickly than if it had been held on by stronger walls. A short time after getting the call from police, family members gathered outside the place their father called home. 71-year-old Marvin Lanning didn't let the debilitating stroke he suffered 11 years ago stop him. So he got around, but he still was, you know, had somewhat life. He really didn't have the quality he used to in that bathroom. His family says he was a tinkerer, something investigators zeroed in on early on. They keep asking us, what was he working on? Did he tinker with something? Was he working on an engine in the house? Or was his gas stove broke? And we're like, who knows with that? Late this afternoon, investigators told 24 Hour News 8 that tinkering probably led to the explosion that killed Lanning. He had recently bought a stove at a garage sale. He converted it from natural gas to liquid propane. Somewhere along the line, something didn't seal, something wasn't connected right, allowing the gas to leak. And all it took was a spark. Lanning was found in his bedroom. I hope for him that he didn't know what went on. You know, that everything just went peaceful for him. Funeral arrangements for Marvin Lanning are still incomplete. In Ravenna, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.